Recently, I have built a Python program that will recreate iFunny captions. Finally, I've also managed this to run Google Colab. Google Colab is a service that allows you to run Python code online with no requirements besides a Google account and internet browser. There is no need for messing with the frameworks like Django or Flask. It's widely used by data analysts and neural network enjoyers. It can also be run on mobile. When you Google iFunny captions, sadly there will be nothing about my project, but there will be a lot of images that are also widely used on shitposting Discord servers that I am constantly banned from, and those were my inspiration for making this program. When you open the notebook, you can see a logo and a GitHub page, which is leading to the source code. I had to reprogram some files to make it run in the Google Colab, but it seems to work, at least for me. You can always stop an issue if something is wrong. The first step is to install the newer version of FFmpg and GIFCycle. GIFCycle is a common tool for creating, editing and getting information about GIF images and animations. In this program, I've used it to modify the delay between GIFs frames. When you run the first cell by pressing the play button, it should begin the installation. It can take some time if you did it for the first time, but it will be worth it. After installation, play button will reset to its default state. Second thing is to clone the GitHub repository. Cloning is basically downloading source code for the program to make it work. The third thing is to fill the forms and run the program. Click on the config JSON to see more details. It redirects you to GitHub readme and D. A lot of details here are without changes. For long GIFs or even MP4s, it can take a lot of time since it's converting image to base64 to display it as an image in Colab. As we can see, I've generated a simple GIF caption, font quality is pretty fine. Now you can download it and share it somewhere. And the good advice. Do not try to copy the image URL and pasting it somewhere, because it's encoded in Base64. And since Base64 is long, GIF is a very complicated format, and it's heavy, it can result in your device lagging. And that's it. Share if you want. In my opinion, this is faster than original phone app. It's cross-platform. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Bye.